Neil Carlson here at the Alara Center in Grand Forks where they're getting ready for another mass testing of the public. Um, I think they're set up for 500 people today. This goes from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the Alara Center parking lot. Joining me is John uh, Bernstrom with the City of Grand Forks. So who qualifies to be in on this? Sure, so uh, with this testing event, we uh, reached out to uh, those that have had close contact with positive cases um, in, in, in Grand Forks County. Uh, first responders, of course, there's, there's just regular testing going on with first responders. And then also we have our frontline workers. There's those people that have been working throughout this throughout this pandemic have been in businesses that haven't been closed and uh, since May 1 a lot of those business businesses that were closed are allowed to open up again so um, so I mean would that mean like the guy who's delivering pizza and takeout and so on and so forth exactly they are they're they're uh, encouraged to come here and get a test if they would like um, this is this is part of that uh, the, the the statewide plan the the plan to, to okay. get businesses going again is part of that is testing all right uh, and again you're it, this is free you don't this need is, insurance? Don't need insurance, don't need proof of residence. We're going on the honor system here. Um, we have uh, about 500 tests available. Uh, okay. National Guard is here. The, the, the thing with these mass testings is we need manpower. So okay. that having the State Department of Health and National Guard here really helps. Okay, thanks for talking to me. All right, a uh, mass testing COVID-19 uh, just getting underway here at the Alara Center in Grand Forks on Thursday morning. Cars were lined up all around the uh, complex out to uh, Columbia Road as they're starting to come through here. So, you need to get tested. Now's the time to get out 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. here in the Alara Center parking lot in Grand Forks. I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.